Hi, Rose Tigers. It's Miss Pass, and I am very happy to bring you our book of the month for this month, The World Needs More Purple People. And it is written by Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart. And the illustrations are by Daniel Wiseman. And whenever I start reading a book, I like to look at the front cover and the back cover before I open it up. So here's our front cover. And our back cover looks like this. Hey, kid. Yeah, you. Are you kind? Are you curious? Can you be really, really ridiculously silly? Then you'd better open this book right now because you're about to become a purple person. All right, are we ready to open it up and see what it says? Let's go. All right, looks like we are going somewhere with some purple footprints. Let's see where we're heading. The World Needs More Purple People by Kristen Bell and Benjamin Hart. Hey kid, I've got a secret. It's gonna knock your socks off and I can't wait to share it with you. Ta-da! Follow my guide to become a purple person. How to be a purple person by Penny. Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the whole wide world would I want to be purple? I don't know. Purple is a magic color made when red and blue work together. I think all the best things in the world are purple. But you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with people? Wow, are you a genius? because you're already on your way to becoming a purple person. You want to know why? My dad says, purple people ask great questions, questions about everything, even questions about questions. Step one, ask really great questions. Hey, dad. How far away is outer space? Have you ever met a dolphin? How many dolphins live in outer space? Purple questions are the kind that help you learn something really big about the world or something really small about another person. How tall is the world's tallest rainbow? What's your bear's name? Charlie? So for the rainbow, we're learning about the world, and then we're learning about this boy's bear. His name is Charlie. Dad says, the more purple questions you ask, the more purple you become. How many do you think there are? I don't know, how many stars do you think there are in the sky? He also says, I can only ask him 20 questions about space dolphins per day. Step two, laugh a lot. My grandma says purple people laugh a lot. We are always laughing together. I mean, snot out of our nose laughing. We laugh at books. We laugh at jokes. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. We laugh at donkey dances and hairy elephant knees. And we especially laugh at grandpa's silly noises. Purple laughing helps us remember the things we share and forget what we thought made us different. And it's almost impossible to be angry when you're laughing. Try it, I dare you. Grandma says, the more purple laughing you do, the more purple you become. She also says grandpa's noises are her favorite funny noises in the whole wide world. Step three, use your voice and don't lose your voice. My mom says purple people use their voice and don't lose their voice. She encourages me to use my voice to sing. 
My dad is the one with the hairy chest who loves me more than all the rest. To give good ideas, let's wear monster costumes to school and to share my opinion. I personally feel like we shouldn't have to eat Brussels sprouts because they smell like sweaty socks. Sometimes people lose their voice and that's okay. It happens. A purple voice helps someone who is having trouble finding their own voice. Purple people don't just speak up, they also listen. Maybe you could tell them you don't like it when they call you that name. Want me to help you tell them? Mom says the more you use a purple voice, the more purple you become. Mom, can you help me with my play? She also says she heard my opinion on Brussels sprouts, but I still have to eat them. I'm gonna work on better arguments. Step four, work hard, super duper hard. My grandpa says purple people know how to dig in and get stuff done. He and I like to work hard while we build things and while we learn things and while we grow things. Purple work is the kind of work that's done together to change something that needs changing. What do we want? More playgrounds. When do we want them? Now! Fix something that needs fixing or help someone who needs helping. Grandpa says the more purple work you do, the more purple you become. He also says no purple work has ever been done while sitting on your backside sipping strawberry lemonade. Okay, are you ready for the last step? Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure? Are you really, really ready? Okay, drum roll please. Step five, paint yourself purple. Just kidding. That's not the way to become a purple person. Actually, being a purple person has nothing to do with what you look like. My teacher says purple people look all sorts of ways. They are big and small, old and young, some wear cool coats, some wear shorts with lots of pockets, and some wear funny hats. She says some purple people feel blue sometimes and red other times and some purple people even have green hair. Step five, just be the real you. Like my teacher always says, purple people come in every color you can dream up and every size you can think up. The only way to be a purple person is, the only way to be purple is to just be you because you're the only you we've got. So those are my surefire steps to turning into a purple person. Wait a minute. You ask really great questions. You laugh a lot. You use your voice all the time. You are a really hard worker and you are totally you. Well, I'll be a llama's mama. You've been beautifully purple this whole time. I sure am glad you're a purple person because the world needs more purple people just like you. And there are all of our purple people. 
And I know how many purple people we have in our Rose Tiger community. So I hope you enjoyed our book of the month for September. And I'll see you soon for next month's book.